Guys, today is going to be an interesting one. We're going to be using an artificial intelligent chat engine. I guess that's what it's called. Essentially, we're going to be using AI to draft a team, and then we will use them on NHL 23. I have no idea what to expect. Maybe they'll be good. Maybe they'll be cheeks. There's only one way to find out, and that is to do. All right, here we go. I'm just going to say draft my hockey team. Great. All right, it's been updated. Draft me a hockey team. Let's find out what we get here. Okay, so <laughs> this is basically just building a superstar team. Oh my word. Yeah, this is that one friend that always picks the all-stars whenever you guys are having a head-to-head -head matchup. So I'm not using this team. I do love the fact that the AI picked Flower though. Tremendous. This team has a mix of speed, scoring ability, and defensive prowess. All right, this guy's writing an essay. I'm not reading all that, but I do appreciate it. Not using this team solely because we already know the result. Yes, they can win a Stanley Cup. I wonder if I throw the word random in there, if it will become different or if it's going to go ahead and draft me the same team. Let's find out. It's thinking about this one. I think I threw it off there. Hello? Okay, it's going. It's very slow, but it is going. Jack Eichel. Let's try this one more time from the top. Not quite my tempo. Here we go. This one really stumps it, eh? It has no idea what to do. All I did was add the word random, but I guess it has to, you know, go get a random set of NHL players. Okay, here we go. The Thundering Rhinos? They even give you a team name? But where's the players? Oh my word. This is amazing. <laughs> I am 100% making the Thundering Rhinos. Head coach Tom Wilson? <laughs> I can't do that. I genuinely cannot do that, but that would be amazing. Oh, here we go. Jack Hughes. Panarin. All right, we're talking now. Mitch Marner is basically just building a superstar team again. Is this just going to be like one lineup or is it going to draft the rest of the team as well? Andre Vasilevsky. Okay, okay. And on the bench, we have Mika Zabanajad. So once again, it's basically building us an all-star team. I'm going to save this chat though, because the Thundering Rhinos are happening. I wonder if it will do this because that will just be firing shots. But let's find out if they're going to go ahead and just draft another all-star team or if it's going to be like, well, that's an opinionated question. I'm going to pass. Oh my word. It's actually going to do it. Come on. First line. Left wing is going to be Joe Smith. Who is that? All right, this is basically just making up names. It's giving the most generic names of all time. I thought that was going to be Tom Wilson. I would have laughed so hard. Okay, I stopped that response. I'm going to try something else and maybe it will work. Maybe it won't, but we'll see. So I'm going to change hockey for NHL. So it has to be NHL players. Let's see. Oh, come on. No way. No way. It's actually doing it. Jason Pominville? Patty Maru hey, he won like three cups in a row. JT Miller! Oh my word. This bot is firing shots. Brandon Sutter, okay. Czarnik, there's no way we're winning the cup with this team. In fact, I'm pretty sure that at least several of these players have retired. Kevin Shattenkirk, you know. Who's he going to give us a net? Hey! Hey! You don't say that. Okay, now the shots have been fired. I wonder if I can throw the word average in there and it will just give me, you know, a team that could compete in the NHL. Let's do it. It really does take a long time to think about these ones, but honestly, it makes sense. Here's a rough draft of what an average team might look like. Here we go. Forwards, left wing, Andrew Cogliano. Oh yeah. Casey Sezikis, nice, I like it. Nick Ritchie, Tanner Pearson. This is not your average NHL team. This is your average AHL team. I'm sorry, that was really rude. These players... Okay, we're honestly the best team of all time now. David Krejci has been added. Fair enough. Vince Dunn, Nick Jensen, Forsling. Okay, who's it going to give us a net? I'm very curious. Starting goalie is going to be... Linus Allmark! Oh, yeah. All right, now we're talking and we get Moose as the backup. Okay. Cool. So this is, you know, a decent team, but obviously we know they're not going to do very well. So I'm going to try to draft an above average. It's amazing how, you know, one word changes so much. Oh, wow. It picked up this one quick.
Yeah, this is above average, to be fair. So, I'm trying to think of what I can tell this thing. So that it just gives us a team not full of superstars and not full of John Doe. See, now the AI is stumping me. I'm trying to figure out how I could get what I'm looking for here. I'm gonna add another keyword slightly. I don't think it's gonna make a difference. It's probably still just gonna draft me an amazing team. Yeah, so this is slightly above average, supposedly. Okay, you know what? It did sort of throw in a mixture of first, second, and maybe some third liners. Whereas before it was all first liners. All right, I think I'm gonna have to come at this differently. I have an idea. I'm just gonna ask it for four random NHL left wingers. Let's see what we get here. Nothing. Oh yeah, here we go. Jonathan Huberdeau. We get Gabriel Landeskog, Artemi Panarin, and Johnny Kutra. Okay, it's not gonna work. We have proved that it doesn't just know superstars. It does know, you know, like the average third, fourth line player. But why will it not draft them for me? I'm going all the way back to the beginning and drafting a half-decent NHL team. Maybe it will be the same as average, but maybe not. Here's a half-decent NHL team roster. So that's a lie. Maybe I need to get really specific. So I'm going to say draft me an NHL team consisting of good average and below average players. Let's see what we could do here. Forwards. Good. Connor McDavid. Good. Patrick Kane. Average. Okay. Perfect. I think I figured out how to beat it. Well, not so much how to beat it, but how to actually get what I want from it. And we only got a few forwards. I'm going to go ahead and try that one more time. This is going to be the one. I got a good feeling. Draft me a full hockey team consisting of good average and below average players. Here we go. Chat GPT. Gives me Sydney the Kidney, Connor McDavid. Okay. Alright, fair enough. We do have an amazing first line. Brandon Lemieux. And then, where's the third line? What's going on here, guys? Okay, I'm using this one no matter what. I think this is the best we're gonna get. And then, if it doesn't draft me a fourth line, I'll draft a fourth line myself. Or, I'll use this and just say, make me a mediocre NHL line. Alright, this should be the finale. Here we go. Here's a hypothetical team. We get Alex Ovechkin, Connor McDavid, and Nathan McKinnon. Then we get Palmieri, Johansson, Tyler Toffoli, Matt Martin, let's go, Riley Nash, and Brett Classic. So yeah, it didn't draft us a fourth line. I will go ahead and use this to hopefully draft us a fourth line. Vasilevsky and Net too, you know. If I can actually do this, this is going to be fire. Draft me a fourth line for an NHL team. Let's see if it can do it. It's thinking. Sure, here's a hypothetical fourth line for an NHL team. We get Matt Martin, who I believe was already up there. No? It, you only know so many players. This line is often referred to as the energy line or grind line. Cool story. I'm going to try third line. Let's see if this makes any difference because the players that gave me there was basically the fourth line. So then who's the second line? Because that was... Basically the same thing. I swear if I put this in and it gives me Ovechkin, McDavid, and McKinnon, I'm going to lose it. Here we go. What do you got for me? A second line in the NHL. If all else fails, I'll just take three players from free agency. And yeah, he is not a second line player. So I'm going to go ahead and stop you there, I think. Let me just see who the center... Oh, all right. Not a second liner either. I mean, potentially could be, but I wouldn't personally. I'm actually having too much fun with this. This is the last attempt. If nothing works here, never mind. There we go. Wonderful. There's three more players to add to our team. They might actually end up being the third line, but I am going to keep the lines together, I believe. Actually, I don't really have to. I'll just make the roster, throw all these players on it, and then we'll do best lines. It'll probably end up looking something like this anyway, with maybe one or two of the defensemen shifted. Obviously, Yossi and Hedman's going to be the top pair. Second, third line might be a little fuzzy. And then that will be our fourth line. So, yeah. Let's go ahead. Make the Thundering Rhinos, I think it was. And let's try to compete for a Stanley Cup. So, unfortunately, Thundering Rhinos does not fit. But I just noticed I put Thund Rhinos. I'm going to go ahead and change that. Thunder Rhinos does, in fact, fit. So, that's what we're going to be rocking. 
We are from Anchorage, Alaska, playing in Glacier Arena. It says our logo is a fierce looking rhino with lightning bolts around it. That would be fire. I can't do that though. I don't know why, but Rhinoceros is just such a funny name. So our team colors are going to be dark blue, black, and silver. So we already got the dark blue. I just need to input the black and then we will get a silver going as well. Obviously you can't really add textures. So it's going to be like a gray-ish white, but it's the best we can do. They did say a fierce rhino. So I'm going to give this boy some red eyes. There you go. Yeah, that's better. Team uniform. What kind of jersey should we have? First of all, let's toss the logo on there so we can see what it looks like. Nice. And now we got to figure out what jersey style we want. I actually don't mind this one. 55. Let's go ahead and apply team colors. Can we do that? We sure can. Boom. That's pretty nasty. Got the pants with the lightning bolts on it. You have got to be kidding me. The thundering rhinos are coming to life. Let's toss the logo on there first. And then we'll go ahead, choose jersey 55, I believe it was. Change the pants, and then we will apply team colors. There you have it, your thundering rhinos. Just make sure the fonts and everything are good. Yep, looks fine to me. Cool. And here's the fun part. Putting all the players on the team. Now, I have not updated the rosters yet. I'm going to try to remember to do it after this. But obviously the trade deadline's over, so I'm assuming they would have pushed the roster update. Maybe that's having... Too high of hopes. Oh, it summarized the chat as a hockey team with varied skill. I probably could have just done that. So they gave us Ovechkin and Mantha. We've got the guy that's probably going to have to be broken down in fantasy to Connor McDavid goals and Connor McDavid assists to keep it fair. Apparently Carter Hutton's retired and I did not know that. So I'll just go ahead and take like a 76 overall goalie or something. There you go. Congrats. I was also today years old when I found out that Montour, they put as below average. Mm -mm. Okay, I believe I have everybody on the Thunder Rhinos. Let's go ahead and put the lines together, jump into a season sim, and hopefully win the cup. And you know what? Just to keep it fair, I'm going to randomize what team we take out. So we are go- There it is. The first team they tried to draft, basically. We'll go ahead and re-roll and land on the Arizona Coyotes. So they will be removed from the sim in exchange- for the Anchorage Thunder Rhinos. I almost forgot. Roster update. There we go. March 6th. Boom. You know what? Actually, I'm going to disable CPU trades here. And it doesn't, I'm not going to make trades. So it doesn't really matter what this setting is. For teams, we have to remove the Arizona Coyotes and sub in your. That's right. Your Anchorage Thunder Rhinos. 94 overall. I see a 90... A couple 90s and 91 from the Carolina Hurricanes. The Rangers are 93. So I think we're the best overall team. Connor McDavo. It is time to edit the lines and see what we're rocking here. No, get out of here, Jabroni. Head coach preferred lines right after I told him no. Regardless, we have Anthony Mantha playing with Ryan Johansson and Tyler Toffoli. Strom, Domi, and Palmieri. Okay, Martin Nash. Yep, looks good. McDavid, McKinnon, and Ovechkin, ridiculous. Defensively, we have Roman Yossi, Hedman, and then Montour playing with McCabe, Nikita, and Manson. They even pretty much got the handedness right, other than, you know, two lefties on the first pair, but it's okay. And in net, we have Vasilevsky backed up by Carter Hutton. Let's run it. Let's go, Rhinos. We beat the Rangers 4-2, so that's a pretty big dub. How... I guess they can only trade with us, but I'm gonna go ahead, decline, and... Edit the trading block. Get out of here. We're actually not doing so hot here. We might not even be a playoff team if this rate keeps up. Never mind. We just went on... I think... Hold on. I gotta count that. So there's seven wins in a row. Just right here. And before Florida... How many is that in a row? I'm just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything here. Is there any L's? I don't think there is. No L's detected. That's got to be one of the greatest runs in hockey, no? The Jets ended a 15-game winning streak. I guess McDavid finally decided he was going to try or something. So we have really turned it around. First in the division now. Most certainly going to be in the playoffs. Holy, play Seattle enough? Look at that. Played them twice here, and then the Ducks, and then Seattle again, and now we have them in the first round of the playoffs. I'm not going to go too in-depth with the stats because I mostly just want to see if the team can win the cup. But 
We may have won the President's Trophy. No, not even close. The Rangers, 118. Oh boy. McDavid had 88 points. We got 82 from Nate Mack and then 80 with 37 tucks out of Ovi. Poulin, you legend. 14 8 no with three shutouts and a 9 12. Igor's at the top. No surprise there. Adam Fox had 77 points. Completely outrageous. EK 65. I think on pace to have his best year by far. And then on top of that, we got Johnny Goudreau leading the league with 99 points. But no one broke 100. Playoff time, round one. Will we be deleted in the first round of the playoffs? It looks like no. We move on to face the Colorado Avalanche in the conference semifinals. How will this one go? Started out all right. That actually caught me off guard. I thought we had them for sure. Well, no Stanley Cup for us. The Thunder Rhinos couldn't get it done in the end, but the Colorado Avalanche sure could. 13 points from McDavid in the playoffs there. I'm just going to have a look at the awards, and then we will have a final playoff tree browse. The team awards, we pretty much know all this, but the finals was Colorado against New Jersey. That's the only one we didn't know. The Prince of Wales. Okay. Individually, the Art Ross Johnny. Then we got past it with the Hart Fox. Do we see... Congrats, Spaniers. He's unreal. Do you spot a Thunder Rhino? Because I do not. That's unfortunate. Well, there you have it. Our team that was drafted by AI was eliminated in round number two by the Colorado Avalanche, who went to seven in almost every series other than their first. I wonder if it could give me video ideas. It's worth trying. Here we go. I'm going to ask it. Give me an NHL 23 video idea. What have you got for me? Creating the ultimate expansion team. Yeah, that just won't do. But you know what? At least it has the capability to say something. So if I could try to adjust my wording like I did for this, then maybe it could create a gem. All right, I think it's finally time that we put this one to bed. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you soon.